so you want to do a match trail. What's the first thing that you actually do? Well, first thing that you have to do is you have to develop your mat size. And go to the Have You Got Mat Size website, haveyougotmatsize.com, and have a look at the resources there, because they'll help you in your trail. Because if you can't, if you go on a trail and you can't see the mathematics, you're not going to know what kinds of questions to ask. The second thing is, think about the trail that you actually want to do. And the most successful trail is a trail that the community already uses. So if there's a walk around the town that, you know, that's where people go and stray for the evening or they take their dogs, or if there's a park nearby, or if there's somewhere near a school, or in fact, you can actually do it around your school and around your centre, but somewhere that's familiar to the people that you're aiming the trail at, that's really important. So the third point is that if you're going out, don't go out on your own to actually see what kind of mats are around that you're going to be looking for. Make sure you take other people that have mat ties with you because you might think up one or two questions. If you've got a group, you kind of spark off each other and you build up a whole bank of questions that you're actually able to use. Take your camera with you and take pictures of the different points where you think you're going to ask your questions because you're going to go back, you're going to have loads of questions and you're going to forget what they actually refer to. The next thing is when you're thinking about your questions, if your question sounds like a school maths question, it's the wrong kind of question for a maths trail. Maths trails should be about people having fun and doing things without pen and paper, without calculators. It should be an opportunity to build number sense, to bring problem solving skills, not doing school maths. So if you're measuring something, you might think about it saying, well, how many of those seats fit into that side of the, the field? Or you might say, how many small bottoms or big bottoms would fit on the chair? Or you might say, what would this look like if I looked down from the sky? Or you might say, can I work out how big this tree is? You're not looking for the right answer. There's lots of right answers. You're just looking for people to talk about the kinds of ways how they might actually solve it and come up with an answer.